In this video, I'm going to show you another example of finding the gradient of a function and sketching a picture of the gradient in the xy coordinate plane. This is my friend here who will be assisting. He's got a PhD in math, so we can do it. Now, let's take a look at what we have. Okay, so here's the exercise. The exercise looks like this. And the best way to study math is to just literally solve as many problems as you possibly can. And as you solve them, think about them carefully. So you have f of x, y. That's our function f of the variables x and y. And is defined by ln of x squared plus y. Okay? And the point here is... 1, 1. So we will find the gradient at the point 1, 1. So let's take a look at what we have. What are the components of the gradients? So the gradient is a function of position. So it's the gradient of rad of f as a function of x and y. And it's equal to the partial with respect to x in the i direction plus the partial with respect to y in the j direction like this so we need the partials of the function to actually accomplish this let's take a look and here I want to square this actually there we are okay so the first step is find the partials so the partial with respect to x you have to find by using the chain rule so first you differentiate the ln function which is 1 over x squared plus y squared. Once you've done that, you've got to differentiate the bottom with respect to x, so that's just 2x. Which means the partial with respect to x for this function is 2 over x and then x squared plus y squared. The next step is to repeat the procedure for the second one, so we have f of y equals 1 over x squared plus y squared. And then you multiply by the partial respect to y, which is just 2y. There we are. It's like, hmm, yes, absolutely. Okay. Got to glance at your work and check it from time to time. So this gives now 2y over x squared plus y squared. So these are the components of the gradient. Now we plug them into the gradient and we form the gradient. So we have the gradient as a function of x and y is given by 2x over x squared plus y squared. And this is in the i direction and then you've got 2y over x squared plus y squared in the j direction. And now let's find the gradient at the point 1, 1. So how do you do that? All you're doing is this. You're taking your gradient and you are simply evaluating it at the point specified. Okay, so the gradient at 1, 1. And you plug into the function and you simplify. So you have 2 times 1 over 1 squared plus 1 squared i plus 2 times 1 over 1 squared plus 1 squared j. So let's simplify. This is just 2 over 2, which is 1. So in other words, 1i. And then here what we have is 2 over 2, which is once again 1. So we have now 1j. Okay. So function gradient found from the partials, plug into the gradient definition, evaluate at the point 1, 1. There's the gradient, 1i plus 1j. Let's sketch a contour curve here. I think this guy's like, hmm, this is very interesting. Whew. You see, but he's still smiling, so we should be too. There you go. Next. Now we will sketch a contour curve of the function. So this function looks pretty complicated at first, right? Because if you take it and you set it to a constant, what you have is something of the following form. ln of x squared plus y squared equals 1. 
Well, that's not very helpful when you first look at it. So you've got to take some other approach. Well, for the ln of the sum of squares to be 1, the other way to write this, of course, is to simply take e to the first and then once you have that take that approach okay so it's like taking uh, think of being, thinking of it this way how can i change the ln function so it's got a the appearance of a circle a level curve that is a circle that is what we want to do all right so the way to do it is as follows um find the value of the function at the point 1 1 so f of 1 1 is the following okay ln of 1 squared plus 1 squared which is the ln of 2 so the value of the function at 1 1 is ln of 2 now I can take the function, set it equal to that, and it's going to give me a nice level curve. So what we have is ln of x squared plus y squared equals the ln of 2. Now we can just raise both sides, you know, raise e to both sides. But then we have e to the ln of 2 equals x squared plus y squared. The basic concepts of e and the ln function because they are inverses all that remains on the left side is 2 so 2 equals x squared plus y squared which means now we have a nice circle so let's draw that circle and here I don't have a so I'll have to do it by hand roughly there we are so keep the spacing consistent Okay, so let me see, maybe I can roughly get it to be, there you go, so that's our circle, and what we want to do is draw okay, the gradient of the point one, one. so maybe at this point the gradient has the following appearance, okay, and I will color code again for the sake of improved visibility, we'll draw the x component of the gradient, that's the one, that's one to the right, so roughly it's that arrow. We draw the y component of the gradient, that's 1 straight up. So roughly that's the blue arrow, which means that the gradient itself is this arrow right here that connects them. Okay, so the gradient of this function evaluated at the point 1, 1 is right there and it's perpendicular to the level curve, which in this case is this circle. Okay, so let us review our work. We've got function, gradient definition, finding the partials, plugging the definition of the gradient, evaluating at the point 1, 1, understanding how to draw a level curve in this case, which is not so obvious at all. So the way to do it is evaluate the function at a point, set the function equal to that number then, because that is the level curve. Okay, the value of the function is the level curve at that point. In this case, you use the E function because it's the inverse of the ln function. And that gives you a circle. Plot the circle. X component of gradient, Y component of gradient. And then you mark your gradient right there as an arrow perpendicular to the level curve or, or the level set or the contour curve. People call these things all kinds of names. And here, to make things more concrete, you can mark this. This is your 1, and the other one is your j. So those are the components of the gradient, and that is it. So thank you for watching. Keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.